welcome back to the channel theo here on today's video i'm going to explain to you what happened to my e36 m3 yes i'm going to talk about the accident that happened during that snowstorm but before i do that let me go ahead and take you back on how my journey started with this beautiful e36 m3 since the day i picked it up when i picked up this car it wasn't perfect it had a bunch of issues you can see the bumper was bad no spanner was bad the paint was not the best as you can see right here it has all type of issue right there as you can see and it needed a lot of attention one of the major thing that was bad for this car was the rust as you can see it had a hole on the there that was on the driver's side but guess what i took care of it i got it fixed now this is the part where you know the process was getting done and the place where i took it they did a very good job and after that was completed i started doing modification the efe cold air intake is what i installed on the car first right after i picked it up next i decided to do a maintenance on the car so i went ahead and did the transmission flush i also did the oil change i also did the steering fluid change i also did the differential flush as you can see I also did a few other maintenance items on the car that I just did not film on, on my YouTube channel but every fluid on the car has been changed. Since I did not have enough fun for a big brake kit for the E36 M3, I went ahead and purchased a new set of brakes rotors from a donor car that had about 40,000 miles. Yes, I went ahead and rebuilt them, painted them blue install them on the car and start a start conversion kit and also flush the brake fluid yes i use motor 660 because that's what you use for racing because i was planning to take this car to the track to change the tone of the car i went ahead and installed a uuc corsac exhaust and it made this car raw and sound so delicious let me let you hear how this exhaust sound when i was driving it Install a few other parts on the car such as the X brace as you can see right here, the Megan Racing rear strut brace. I upgraded the transmission and engine mount to polyurethane as you can see in the video. In terms of maintenance, I forgot to mention that I changed the coil packs, I changed the spark plugs, I also did the valve cover gasket and I was about to do the pulleys because I did purchase the pulleys in Bell and I changed also some radiator hoses but those are just maintenance items. First aftermarket set of wheel with this E46 CSL replica with painted gloss black and they just look beautiful on the car as you guys already know. My second set which you guys also know was going to be my track setup and these are the Apex R8 pair with this Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's that was looking so sexy and beautiful on the car and I so regret the fact that I was never able to really drive them the way I wanted, drive them on the track like I wanted because the car is just gone. Of course if you have a car like this every now and then you have to take it to the twisties, have fun, drive and enjoy a good time. Let me show you a few clips of how that was happening for me and how I had a smile. Fast forward on January 2nd, I was 
heading to work and decided to take my e36 entry only because i had friends over and then they block the mdx that you can see on the car right there normally that's what i drive during the snow but they block my mdx and i didn't want to wake them up so i decided to drive the e36 as you can see the road were clear so i was like you know maybe i can make it with the e36 entry oh i was wrong well when they say don't drive in the snow this is what happened you fucked up your car and nope i did not hit anyone i hit the side of the road because yep the car just didn't want to go up that small hill over there and then at that point i decided that okay it was maybe time for me to go back home because maybe this was a bad idea to go to work and yep when i decided to actually go back home i hit the side of the road and now the car is not even moving because it's just accumulating snow under the car Lucky for me, I have a new bumper at home, so I can easily fix this. But the problem is, now I'm stuck in the cold, car doesn't respond anymore, and, well, I'm waiting for a rescue. I was very upset for everything that was happening, but I was also thankful because I did not, you know, had nothing bad in terms of injury. And I stopped trying to fight with the car and the snow because if I was trying, I would hit on the dish, as you can see right here. My back tire wheel was going to the dish if i was trying to do any more movement i was going to end up flipping the car and i did not want that to happen because it was pretty bad so i just decided to call for help and wait there the tow truck came took the car and later on i got the car home at this point i thought that yes maybe i can still get my car back use my bumper that i have at home to fix it but also no the damages on the front were very bad because when I, when the insurance took it to an independent shop and they did the assessment, it had a lot of parts that were damaged that needed to fix and that's how the insurance decided to total the car. Yes, this is how I lost my E36 M3 and if you want to purchase this car, it is available on IAAI.com. This video pretty much will give you all the maintenance record that I completed on the car and you saw and you can contact me if you are purchasing it. I can give you all the detail. Anything I know about the car, I can share that knowledge. Yes, the car is out there. I personally am not going to bid, but if you want to bid on this specific car, pretty much you know the history. Here's the video about it. I'm going to post it on the forum.